We came across an article on CNET about Windows 11 public release, and this kind of blew our minds because some of you had asked about when all this was going to happen, and I said crystal ball forecasting. My expectation was about six months. Well, uh, based on what we found out from CNET with this article today, today being July the 3rd, it looks like it may be sooner than that. Windows 11 release date sounds like it will be sooner than we first thought. Windows 11 will be available as a free download for existing Windows users during the 2021 holiday season. And based on an announcement, and they were able to catch it and read it from something that Microsoft said, it looks like it's going to be about November or December, possibly, possibly as early as October. So that's the drop date. And we'll have a link up to this information so you guys can uh, find this real easily. You know, again, uh, this is a good time to talk about if you're going to install a new operating system, Now's a good time to think about either clone image or backup, or by the way, what you might want to do is uh, now's a good time to put in that new drive so your existing configuration is preserved, stays intact. Then do a clean install on that new drive so that then when you install Windows 11, it's easy to get back. You don't have to worry about them uh, messing up your data or anything. That's just my suggestion based on how we've done things in the past. But what I'm waiting for is the Windows Media Creation Tool, and we'll have a link to this. Right now, that tool still says Windows 10, and as I have mentioned this before, we'll have a link to this. What you want is to create Windows 10 installation media. We've had some questions about how fast Windows will install on a RAID. That's not the issue. The real question is, how fast is the installation media that we install Windows with? So we're going to look at those three key components in another video and uh, see if we're going down a rabbit hole or if there's something we can do to fix that. Because when the time comes, we want to be able to create our installation media so we can go to any machine we want and not have to download Windows to every one of the machines. So while we're waiting for that, we wanted to share this with you, so I hope you find this helpful. All the links will be in the description. We try to keep this tight. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Gil Boyd. This is Builder Bio. We're on to the next video. We're out.